a builder, I suppose, but <laughs> I didn't fancy that. My mother died with I told you so on her lips. Well, I suppose that made her happy. Please take this stuff off my eyes. Okay. The uh, class is ready for you now. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yoga. All I had left of the past was this house. The walls had become part of me somehow. And the tiles, the three graces, everything. So I trained as a masseurs and came back. Now I live in one of the staff flats. It used to be the stables. And I try to be brave and smile. And I like to think I'm popular with the guests and the other members of staff. But people are so busy always, aren't they? And time passes and my life is gone. And which of them should I kill? Then now you can open your eyes. Oh, that's taken beautifully. A really rich blue black. Ready for a party at any time of day or night. And no need for mascara. Oh, my God. She's armed. So, what do you say? Is he more to blame for leaving me, or she more to blame for taking him? It's a terrible story, Sonia. If you'd gone to law, of course, you could have got quite a sum of money from the sale of the house. I wouldn't demean myself. I wouldn't stoop to their level. Now, if you have to sit up, I can start spunking down the mud. Perhaps I should kill them both. Perhaps neither of them deserve to die. Someone's to blame. Sonia. Oh, look, it's five past eleven. My next lady will be waiting. Oh, so it comes to doing someone else's work. It'll just have to wait until after yoga. Sonia. You might be to blame, and not Jonathan or Tanya. Perhaps you have been responsible for your own fate. Is this water too hot? No, no. Perfectly comfortable. At any rate, I can put up with it for the moment. Sonia, consider this. Perhaps you didn't love Sir Jonathan Sibley at all. Perhaps all you wanted to be was Lady Sibley. Perhaps you were mercenary and greedy. You jilted your poor banker without a moment's hesitation, simply because he had piggy eyes. If Jonathan jilts you because your legs are too fat, should you then be surprised? Can he be blamed? Because you are masochistic, Sonia. Because you love to suffer. Well, what about Tanya? Wasn't she wicked, stealing him from me? Tanya? Tanya had spirit, she had guts. She got what she wanted, she spoke the truth. She was worth marrying and so he married her. You weren't and so he didn't. This is the fate of women who try too hard to please men. And this is the fate you deserve. Touch and go. I let myself go. I never had my hair done or anything. Quite so. Poor Jonathan. Men are the victims of their own desires. It's not their fault. They're not to be blamed. It's woman's fault for taking them seriously. And may God forgive me for my lies. I never liked dancing, it's true. It made my legs ache. Exactly. I wanted to get out of it. Love's always such a good excuse. Quite. 
and I must have done something wrong, or he wouldn't have left me. Yes. Sonia, Sonia, forgive me, but it's not worth murdering for. Nobody likes me. No? I suppose that's because I was born unlikable. Possibly. So instead of running around trying to find people to blame, why don't you just accept it? You're so wise. And if you'd been Tanya, wouldn't you have done the same if you could? When did a woman ever not have an affair with a man she loved simply because there was another woman around? I suppose not. Well, you'd have to kill all the women in the world, not just her, and that would be impracticable. You're right. Well, that's that. You're ready to go for your shower now. Oh, you're going to feel so much better. Your skin will be all smooth and silky. Here, you uh, put on your dressing gown now. Sit. Tell me. I suppose that gun isn't loaded. <clears throat> Missed. Bright.